Welcome back to my channel, everybody. If you know here, I'm Claudia. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. A couple of months ago, I reviewed the Nero Home Laser. If you have not seen that video, I will link it down below. In the video, I talked about how I might go and have a Fraxel laser done. And underneath the video, so many of you said, please, if you have it done, take us with you. So today, I am taking you with me to have a non-ablative fractional laser done, also known as Fraxel. I am going to take you right in there with me, show you what it's like to have the procedure done. Of course, I'll show you what it looks like after, and then for days to come, I'll talk a little bit more about what this procedure is for, how I feel about it as the video progresses. But for right now, let's go have a laser done. Come inside, the post. Bene, tu? Bene, grazie. Allora, ho un appuntamento? Sì, con il dottor Dando. Sì, e anche i miei amici. Lo so. Sì. Puoi mettere un po' di gel per le mani. Non c'è problema. E poi aspettiamo. Grazie. Lui è qua? Sta arrivando. Ormai siamo tutti presi. To start out, Dr. D'Angelo applied numbing cream all over my face as well as my neck. It stayed on for about 30 minutes. Once he started the procedure, he only removed the numbing cream from the areas he was working on, leaving the rest of the face and neck covered with the numbing cream until he was ready to work on those. So you can see right now he's working on the right side of my face, my cheek, down to the jaw. So only that part has the numbing cream removed. And you can also see I am completely relaxed. There is really no pain at all. The only thing I'm feeling is a little bit of warmth. Now I'm assuming without the numbing cream it would be quite hot. But I'm just feeling a little bit of warmth. There is no discomfort. There is no sort of startling sensation or anything. Just a little bit of warmth. Now, because Dr. D'Angelo is very thorough and not missing a spot at all, the whole procedure took about 45 minutes plus the time it took to numb out. So about an hour and 15 minutes, an hour and a half altogether. Now, Dr. I use radio frequency with this, right? Yes. Because it makes it feel faster or why do you use it? The recovery time is faster. Okay, with the radio frequency. Mm -hmm. So as Dr. D'Angelo said, not only is this a non-ablative fractional CO2 laser, but it also utilizes radio frequency. Now in this case, the radio frequency is not used for tightening, but to shorten recovery time. Since this laser creates quite a bit of heat, I asked Dr. D'Angelo if anybody has ever experienced fat loss from it. And he said, no, absolutely not. Two reasons for that. Though it travels quite deep into the dermis, it does not travel deep enough to actually affect the subcutaneous layer. Secondly, it is only in contact with the skin for a picosecond, so a very short amount of time. And to cause fat loss, Dr. DeAngelo explained, the heat has to be in contact with the skin for a long period of time and of course it has to actually hit the subcutaneous layer. So no fat loss with this laser, which is a good thing. And right here you can see me sort of stick my tongue underneath my lip so the laser has an easier time to stay in contact with the skin. 
So as you can see, even the forehead, I did not feel anything. In fact, by the time Dr. D'Angelo worked on my forehead, I was ready to take a nap. I was completely relaxed. There was zero pain. After the forehead, we moved on to the nose. You can see Dr. D'Angelo is very thorough. He really is not missing a spot. And then of course, we're going down to the neck as well. And by the time he got to the neck, again, I did not feel a thing. I was completely relaxed. So I just got home, I took a nice hot shower and while I was under the shower, I took a little bit of ice and rubbed it over my face and then washed it just with a really mild cleanser. I actually used this right here. I used my Kindry cleansing balm and my face feels fine. It feels a little bit hot right now, kind of like I have a sunburn, but it's not painful or anything, but you can see I'm red. It just feels sunburned. I am going to now put my um, copper peptides on and then I will just put this on here right now. This is an occlusive. It is actually beautiful. I'll talk more about this soon, but this is really beautiful. It's just very healing and very soothing. So I'm just going to apply these two things and then I'll show you tomorrow what it looks like and the day after that. And I'll also show you what sort of skincare I'm going to apply in the morning as well as the evening. And this is interesting. You can already sort of see the pattern of the laser. So it leaves a bit of a grit pattern and um, you're gonna see this more and more in the days to come. So I'm actually just going to leave this like this and let it sink in. And probably before I go to bed, I'll put a little bit more on. I'll see you in the morning and I'll show you what I use and what it looks like. It has been about 24 hours since I had the laser done. And I am laughing because I look like the old lady in the movie, Something About Mary. When you look at me, you might ask why are you doing this to yourself? I know this looks crazy, but it looks so much worse than it actually is. I have zero pain, not even discomfort. The only thing I'm feeling is a slight dryness and tightness, similar to after microneedling, but like I said, zero pain. 
not even discomfort. Last night it felt like I had a sunburn, but no pain either. And you saw me during the procedure. I was completely relaxed. There was no pain either. So though this looks crazy, like I said, it looks so much worse than it actually is. And as Dr. D'Angelo said, and by the way, I said that he was using a fractional laser. Fractional is actually a brand name. Being here in Europe, Dr. D'Angelo does not use fractional, but fractional and his laser are both non-ablative fractional CO2 lasers. And what that means, some CO2 lasers are ablative, meaning they take off the outer layer of the skin, completely resurfacing. Now that sounds really scary and something I could never see myself do. A non-ablative fractional laser works similar to microneedling on a much deeper level, of course. But first of all, it doesn't ablate any of the outer layers of the skin. And secondly, it only injures fractions of the skin, keeping the surrounding layers intact. And then the surrounding layers help heal the injured areas. Therefore, there is less downtime and of course, less damage. And as Dr. D'Angelo said, these sort of lasers help a little bit with skin rejuvenation, but much more importantly, they go in deep and help restore some damage done on the deeper layers of the skin. And since I have done so much damage to my skin from just decades of baking in the sun and not eating enough, I am really grateful that there is a modality I can use that helps me heal some of that. So and that is why I'm doing this to myself. And like I said, it looks so much worse than it actually is. So this morning I actually took my dog for a walk, so I went outside, but it is a rainy day here, so I didn't even bother with sunscreen. I wore a mask because we have to right now because of COVID, and I wore a visor. So my face was pretty much covered. When I came home, I washed my face with my cleansing balm, used my cupper, I mean isolate, and then I also used this right here. This is a serum I have been using for about three weeks and really loving, and I will talk more about this in another video but this is called Renew and it is chock full of antioxidants. So I used my copper amino isolate, this right here because of the antioxidants, and then I put the IS Clinical Shield on again and that's it. Now, truthfully, Dr. D'Angelo wants me to use an antibiotic ointment. I told him I wasn't going to, I didn't last time either. I don't worry about infection. I want to feed my skin with some really good ingredients to help it heal and also help it to produce the collagen that we're going after. But if you're doing this, listen to your doctor. Don't do what I'm doing, okay? Listen to your doctor. So then tonight, I am going to again wash my face with my cleansing balm, use my Neogenesis Recovery, which I use every night. I talked about this in my evening skincare routine. And then of course, I would use my Retin-A. However, I won't be able to use Retin-A for about three or four weeks. And I didn't use it for about a week leading up to this. And I'm always a bit bummed when I can't use my Retin-A because it has done just wonders for my skin. It is such a great active ingredient. And I'm always bummed when I'm missing out on that active ingredient. But instead of my Retin-A, I have been using, like I said, for the week to lead up and I will be using for about three weeks to come. This right here, this is called Nomi. And again, I will talk about this more in another video. But what this is, it's a vegan cruelty-free, very clean brand, and it is a retinol serum. It is an encapsulated retinol, so not retinoic acid like my Retin-A, but much less irritating. And it also has vitamin C in it. And vitamin C, of course, we know is crucial for collagen production. So I'm going to use this. I will still get my active ingredients, my vitamin A, granted as retinol, but it's beautiful, and my vitamin C. And then I will again just put the IS Clinical Shield over and that's it. And that is what I will be doing probably for the next two, three weeks or so. I will, of course, keep you updated and I will show you what this looks like tomorrow. But right now I'm gonna come a little bit closer so you can see because you can already see sort of the grit of the laser. And I find this quite fascinating. And you can also see how thorough Dr. D'Angelo is. He really doesn't miss a spot. Well, he didn't do up here. But other than that, I missed the tiny spot here. But other than that, he is incredibly thorough. So that is what it looks like right now. It feels a bit rough. It feels a bit like sandpaper. But like I said, 
zero pain, zero discomfort. So I'll see you tomorrow. So this is about 48 hours after the laser and I look just as crazy as yesterday. However, the funny thing is that for the most part, I forget about it because aside from just a little bit of itching, I really don't notice anything and I don't feel anything. But then I will walk past the mirror and go, whoa, because I know I look crazy. But like I said, aside from looking crazy, I don't feel anything. There's no pain, no discomfort, just a tiny bit of itching. And I'm starting to shed just a little bit, especially when I'm washing my face. But that's really it. You can see, you can really see the grid today and where some of the skin has already come off. And it looks quite pink and again, so much worse than it really is, but I'm not feeling anything. And like I said, for the most part, I just forget about that I look like this. My husband, on the other hand, is not forgetting about it. He's horrified, but he will love the results. So this is two days after. I think today is the worst day, but we'll see what it looks like tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. It is day three, about 72 hours since I had the laser done. And as you can see, I am still nice and pink. However, I am really starting to peel now. In fact, on my neck, almost all of the skin has peeled off. It's nice and pink, but really soft feeling. And then on my face, you can see quite a bit has peeled off. There's still quite a bit left and you can see the pattern. Again, it is looking so much worse than it actually is. There's just a little bit of itchiness today, a little bit more so than yesterday, but keeping it really moisturized has really been helping. So I will see you tomorrow. It is day four and my skin feels basically like it did yesterday, just a bit dry and a bit itchy. My neck has completely peeled off and it is feeling very soft. And my face has done a bit more peeling, but there's still more to come, quite pink still. So like I said, it's just a little bit dry and a little bit itchy, but keeping it moisturized is really helping. So I will see you tomorrow. Day five is looking a lot better. I am not as red anymore and a lot of the skin has peeled off. You can see there's just a little bit left, but you can definitely still see the grid pattern. And then my neck was already peeled off yesterday and it is feeling so soft. So this is what day five looks like. It's still a little bit itchy, but a lot of moisturizer is definitely helping. I will see you tomorrow. It is day six and it's looking a lot better. I'm still a little bit pink, but all of the skin has peeled off. Aside from a few scabs where I think he might have gone a little bit too deep. Let me show you. So you can still see the pattern, but that will fade away in the next couple of days. And then you can see I have a couple of spots where, like I said, I think he went a little bit too deep. And then this scratch right here, I gave myself, I think last night, but it's looking a lot better. It's not itchy anymore, just a little bit dry. I will check in with you again tomorrow, let you see what it looks like, and I will tell you my final thoughts. See you tomorrow. All right, it is day seven and I'm almost back to normal, almost. I still am a little bit pink, as you can see, and you can still see the pattern. And I also still have the scabs, and I'm not crazy about that because I think he might have gone a little bit too deep there, possibly have even burned me, so I'm not happy about that, but hopefully, they will heal without leaving a mark. And aside from that, I'm almost back to normal and I'm really happy about it. Seven days is a long downtime and I'm not completely back to normal, but this I could easily cover up with just some tinted sunscreen even. So seven days is a long downtime. It's comparable to a TCA peel and I would argue that this is more effective, but regardless, it's a long downtime. Now, is it worth it? That depends on what you're trying to get out of it. For me, like I said, I have done so much damage to my skin and it has really shown in the last decade. I have had quite a few precancerous lesions show up on my forehead and my temples and Retin-A actually has been quite helpful for those. But I'm always trying to find ways to help repair some of that damage and improve the health of my skin. Now, 
don't get me wrong. I will also take the superficial benefits. I will take the skin rejuvenation, the less lines and wrinkles, the collagen production, all of that. That's going to take some time to actually show, but I will take it. But my number one priority is to improve the health of my skin and repair some of that damage. So for me, it has been worth it. But I live somewhere right now where this is relatively inexpensive. It's all relative. I talked to one of my friends in California and she spent $2,000 just to have her face done. I spent 400 euros on my face and neck. Now 400 euros is about $450 right now, so still a lot of money, but relatively inexpensive to what my friend paid. And to me, it was worth it. But would I have to spend 2,000? Well, first of all, I couldn't afford it. But if I had to spend 2,000, I would have to really think about it. So it's a cost benefit analysis. To me, for what I paid for, it was worth it. And I'm looking forward to the results. So I hope that this was helpful, entertaining, interesting. I would love to know in the comments if you have had this laser and how you liked it, what were your results, how was your experience with it? And of course, also, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I always love to hear from you. Thank you so much for being here. Until next time, bye.